teach it bit by bit and then have room for you to copy. So the first bit of the pattern of the A part goes like this. Repeat that. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. The next bit goes. goes like this. Want to repeat that with me? Three, four. And again, three, four. to get that again. The next bit, starting from the D, because it ties over the bar. Oh, I recognise that. Adding just that little bit on top of the first bit goes... So the next bit is Okay, 
Okay, so play it once more. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that is half the A part. And the next part goes. Ooh, I recognise that, but then it changes at the end. So repeat with me. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now we're going to try and plonk that onto the three bits we were doing. The fourth bit. And I will repeat it three times round um, at a slow pace. So you can pick it up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> to pick that up if you haven't yet keep going around you'll eventually get it so now i'm going to move on to the b part the b part starts on a b um but in the original you go up after finishing i'd go up there but just to give you an idea of where they sit the b is here the lowest it will go down is to an e underneath but then the highest it goes is an octave B and then the D above that. So a D to that E, if you get what I mean. Um, the E is optional, you can bring it up to a G. So D to G. Just thought I'd mention it now before you start learning it and you're like, no, or whichever way you went. First bit is this. <laughs> Those two bits together. Okay. After that bit, if you have that E, go down to it. If you don't have that E, you can go hit the G instead, or you can jump up to the next E. Okay, so whichever one you pick, choose one of them. I'll be playing two of them. Can't play the top E because doesn't work, but one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So 
we're adding that onto the first bit of the B part that we burnt. <laughs> Arpeggiatic pattern. You're getting fancy. Um, so it starts on a B again. So let's do that bit. One, two, three, four. Should be part. So close. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Now we're just going to go for the second half of the B part through, where it starts going up. Do not worry, it took me ages to learn this bit. It's hard. I'll play it back once. One, two, three, four. <laughs> time. One, two, three, four. follow that if not rewind can you go over it again now starting from the beginning of the b part if you can remember how that sounded if you can't why well, I, I will play it for you here it is one two three four <laughs> I'm going to loop that B part around three times, uh, quite a slow piece for you to try and remember and play along. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> tune. You might have noticed with the first time I played it, I hit other strings. I know that it's not an accident, although it totally could be, but you can part it off as like you were supposed to do it. So for example, <laughs> it's just sort of practice
just playing while hitting another string. Something your classical teachers will hate because they're like, no, you need to be playing each note, but it's something that happens in folk music, so sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> We've got a low E, or even if you go up, you can hit that G as well, and be like, ooh, chord. Um, you have some options there. And now back to everyone else. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
the tune of Blackberry Blossom. Go and check out all the other parts that we've done for this and also all the other tunes which will be out either the days before this one or the days after this one depending on when this one goes out. Happy tune tuning tuning? Yeah. We want you to send in your videos of the tunes for our showcase. Whichever parts you've learnt for any or all of the tunes we want to see them. So there are a couple of things you want to think about when you're filming a video like this. One, you're going to want to have two different devices. One, so that you can listen to the video on, and hopefully with some headphones will be best. And one, so that you can film yourself. Um, the second thing is you want to think about your background. It doesn't have to be completely blank, but just think about you don't accidentally want a letter with your full address on it, or any personal family photos, or anything you wouldn't want to be going online. And the third thing is you need to make sure your parent or guardian has filled out the consent form and then you're going to email your videos to l.budden at shootingroots.org um, or you, if the file's too big you can send them via WeTransfer or send a Google Drive link. Um, the video to record along to is the big arrangement videos. You can find them here on the workshop videos or on the Shooting Roots website. Looking forward to seeing and hearing you.